Hey guys, it's Rainbow back with another video. Here to continue my Royal Rumble review series, and I'm here to review Royal Rumble 1992. Now I've been really looking forward to get to this one, and you know when? Do you know when like one match makes the whole show? This is the case here. Okay, the obviously. I'm mostly going to be talking about the Royal Rumble match itself, but I will talk about the undercard matches. But still, the Royal Rumble match is really like the only match that anyone will ever care about from the show, honestly. It's just such a spectacle. Okay, I'll get to the review now. Opening match, we have the new foundation, um, Jim the Anvil, Nightheart, and Owen Hart versus the Orient Express. I'm really starting to like the Orient Express guys. They seem like an awesome tag team. Anyway, this match, it was really, really good. Really fun. Um, pretty much what you expect from these wrestlers. Just really entertaining stuff. Perhaps went a bit longer than it should have. But I still had a really fun time watching this match. And I really enjoyed this opener. And of course... You had the ending with uh, the new foundation picking up the win. So yeah. Next match we have uh, for the Intercontinental Championship, the Mountie uh, versus Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now this match, uh, I'm just going to crash course through this match. This match wasn't anything too special, but it was a great moment to see Roddy Piper win the IC title. And that is the only thing people remember from this match. And he ended up um, uh, defending the title against Bret Hart at uh, WrestleMania 8 that year. But that's another story for another day. Um, next we have the Beverly Brothers versus the Bushwhackers. This was just a really long filler match, honestly. Had some funny stuff from the Bushwhackers, of course, and... Oh, wow. Uh, and the uh, Beverly Brothers actually picked up the win, so... That's just saying a lot, you know, basically. I, I don't know, but yeah. So, yeah. Then we have the next match, uh, WWF Tag Team Championship match. The Legion of Doom defending against the Natural Disasters. This match... I actually had fun with, uh, I do think, when you put these big men in matches against each other. I believe that there was a match like this at, a uh, was it a Royal Rumble or Survivor Series? Uh, I reviewed it, whatever, but this match here is just real, just a fun big man match, you know, typical of a fight from back in the day, or whatever, but I still really enjoyed it, and yeah. And, uh, of course you had the Natural Disasters picking up the win by Can Out, so yeah, that was a shame. But yes, now that I've pretty much talked through the undercard matches, you probably noticed I really, really just wanted to talk about the Royal Rumble match, because that was the best thing about the show, bar none. So yeah, okay. So yeah, now we get to the main event, the 30-man Royal Rumble match for the vacant WWF Championship. This is the greatest Royal Rumble match of all time, bar none, guys, okay? And it was for the WWF Championship, which made it just really special in its own way, and it was vacant too, you know? And not only that, but you have... A uh, fantastic, awesome commentary by Bobby the Brain Heenan, and the match itself was just amazing. You had so many big stars in this match uh, appear. You had Ric Flair himself, of course. You had British Bulldog, Tito, Tito Santana, Tex Tornado. Jesus, the list goes on and on. You Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, Sergeant Slaughter, 
Rick the Mob Montel, Randy Savage, Jake the Snake Roberts, so many big names in this match, it's unbelievable. Wow. And of course you had the uh, the ending, um which will everyone will probably remember. Um you had um Uh, you had uh, Hogan, Hulk Hogan get eliminated by Psycho Sid, then Hulk Hogan got butt hurt, um, and he decided to grab Sid to pull him down over the top rope to let Ric Flair get the win. So, I, I, I never really liked that part, honestly. It's a bit unfair for, like, a good guy wrestler like Hulk Hogan especially so that was I never really liked that honestly but Ric Flair winning the title probably uh, one of the best Royal Rumble performances ever he came in at number three so yeah anyway so yep that was my review of 1992 Royal Rumble guys I hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe if you haven't already I'm a train bud, and I'll see you for my review of Royal Rumble 1993.